Let's take a look at this example. We're supposed to find I1. Please notice that resistor R1 is connected directly to the voltage source. Okay, and we have voltage at this voltage source negative 9.2 volts. Okay, so this is like a connection. Over here we have voltage source. Okay, and this is my ground. Okay, so as you can see, this voltage source is connected directly to resistor R1. So if you want to find the current which goes through this resistor, simply use Ohm's law and write I1 is equal voltage source 1. Let me just call this voltage source 1, voltage source 1, and this is my voltage source 2. Voltage source 1 divided by R1. Voltage source 1 is negative 9.2 volts divided by R1, which is equal to 3.1 kilo ohms. So now I'm going to use the calculator like always. And I have negative 9.2 divided by 3.1 exponent 3. This is equal negative 2.2. 96 milliamps. Okay, and the current is going to go in this direction. Okay, again, we are using conventional current flow, so the current flows from the higher potential to the lower potential. So if this is zero, because ground has a potential equal zero volts. And we have over here negative 9, so current goes from higher potential to the lower. That's why my current goes up. Next, I'm supposed to find current I2. I2 is the current which goes through resistor R2. 15 has, you know, is, is greater than 0, so current for sure is going to go in this way. Okay, from the higher potential to the lower. So I have 15 and I have 0 volts, so 15 is much greater than 0. That's why my current is going to go in this way. As you can see, this, this voltage source, right? Let me just draw like this. This is my voltage source. is connected directly to my resistor R2. That's why my I2 is equal voltage source 2 over R2 where voltage source 2 is equal 15 volts over R2 which is equal to 2 kilo ohms. So this is equal 7.5 milliamps. Okay, so this is the current which will flow through the resistor R2. Next I'm supposed to find the current which goes through resistor R4 because these two resistors are in series. Okay, so the same current is going to flow through resistor R3 and the same current is going to uh, go through resistor R4. So in order to make this problem a little bit simpler, I'm going to find the total resistance of these two, I mean equivalent resistance for these two. So if R3, 4 is equal R3 plus R4. R3 is equal 8K plus 4K. This is equal 12K, 12 kilo ohms. So I can say that my I3 is equal to I4 because these two resistors are in series and simply write that this is equal voltage source 2 divided by R34. Voltage source 2 is equal 15 volts over 12k. So I have 15 volts divided by 12 exponents 3 is equal 1.25 milliamps. Okay, so we found I1, we found I2, and we found I4. So we can say that the problem is solved.